Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here. I am Boat US's fishing editor and today I'm going to say something that you will not often see people say on YouTube. Some of you need to tune out right now because you might get bored. Look, if you have a garage full of fishing tackle, you already know the difference between a spinning reel and a conventional reel. But today, we're going to help some beginners out. We're going to talk about the difference between a spinning reel and a conventional reel and how you know which to choose. This is a spinning reel, and one of the key characteristics to note about this reel is that the spool just holds a line. It doesn't revolve unless a fish is pulling out drag. Then it turns, but normally, line is laid on the reel by revolving this bale. Now, if you watch closely, you'll notice the spool slowly goes up and down, up and down as I reel. That's so the line gets laid evenly along that spool and doesn't bunch up. To cast this reel or let line out, you fold the bale back and then line can freely spill off the top, kind of like this. This is a conventional reel. The biggest difference between a conventional and a spinner is that it has no bale. When you turn the crank, the spool itself is what revolves. Now, there are different sizes, all different types. Uh, there are what some people would call bait casters, much smaller ones that fit in the palm of your hand. Um, some people call them casting reels in general, and there are also level winders. Now I have one right here. The big difference with, with a level winder is it has this piece right here. You can watch it. It'll go back and forth, and that lays the line across the spool of this reel evenly so it doesn't bunch up. With a reel like this, you actually have to use your thumb as you're reeling, you use this thumb, to push the line back and forth and make sure it lays evenly along this spool. When you're ready to let line out with a reel like this, or perhaps cast it, you simply move the lever drag back. In this case, the reel goes into free spool. On a reel like this one, you would simply click it back, and now that spins freely. Now, this is both a blessing and a curse. Um, normally, you wouldn't cast a level winder like this. This is more of a trolling style reel, but in a smaller version, when you cast this, you would need to use your thumb to put pressure on the spool to prevent it from spinning faster than the line can go out. That causes a tangle. We call that a backlash. Okay, so how does a beginner know which to choose? Well, if you plan on doing any casting and retrieving, it's probably best to start out with a spinning reel. It's much less frustrating. It's much easier to figure out how to use it without making a big, giant tangle. Now, that said, once you get some experience and you want to learn how to throw with a casting reel, you can get much better accuracy as you put your thumb on the spool and can control the speed that the lure is moving out. You can stop it short. You can change the arc of the cast. It really gives you some fine-tuning abilities that just aren't there with a spinning reel. Now, let's say you're more interested in learning how to troll. Then you're probably going to want to pick up a conventional reel. They're really easy to let line out without having to cast. And if you get a level winder reel, you don't have to worry so much about laying the line back and forth smoothly. Now, you should be aware if you're fishing for very large game fish, say tuna in the ocean, you really can't have a level winder. You really need a reel that doesn't have that feature on it because the worm gear just can't take the speed and the beating that a tuna is going to dish out. Naturally, you can break down spinning reels and conventional reels into a number of different styles, prices, and sizes, which will vary quite a bit depending on the type of fish that you plan on catching. Uh, as far as the conventional reels go, you might want to get one and just go out in your backyard and practice with it at the same time as you go fishing with your spinning reel. That way you can maybe get the best of both worlds with a little bit of experience. Bottom line, there are a lot of variables, too many here, to make any real blanket statements about which specific reel is going to be best for you. In fact, what I would recommend is go to your local tackle shop, go to a reputable one like All Tackle here where we are today. Talk to the guys behind the counter. Let them share their knowledge with you and figure out just which reel is going to work out best for you personally. Well, folks, we hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope you find it helpful, and we hope you'll leave us comments below and let us know what topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Meanwhile, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any Boat US Magazine videos coming down the line.